I want to talk about prevalence, incidence, odds ratio, relative risk, attributable, attributable risk, number needed to treat, number needed to harm, and absolute risk reduction. Now, prevalence is essentially how many people have the disease. You've got in a given population how many people are going to have that disease. Incidence is the new cases that are coming out. The new incidents, I know you probably shouldn't define a word with the word, but an incidence is the new incidence of the disease. Essentially, how many people are uh, coming, are contracting the, the disease. So if a thousand people in a population have the disease, the incidence and one person gets it today, the incidence will be one. The prevalence will be 1,000 and the incidence will be one. Uh, for odds ratio, and I don't know if you saw the previous video, uh, but odds ratio, when you think of case control, you need to think of odds ratio. Odds ratio, case control. Case control, odds ratio. And in order to calculate odds ratio, I like to think about Las Vegas. And you only got two numbers. 1 to 1, 2 to 1, that's what you think about when you're in gambling. So you're only going to have two numbers with odds ratio. So what you're going to have for odds ratio, you're going to have A over B, and that's going to be divided by C over D. So you got one number and one number divided by one number and one number. Now relative risk, um, it's important to remember relative risk cohort. Cohort, relative risk. Relative risk, cohort. Um, they go hand in hand. So whenever you have relative risk, you need to think of cohort studies. And that's not going to have the two numbers like odd, odds ratio, but you're going to have three numbers. So basically what you're going to have is you're going to have A over A plus B over C over C plus D. So you've got A over A plus B divided by C over C plus D. So you can have three numbers for relative risk. Now for attributable risk, um, that's actually a little more complicated. Um, attributable risk, you're going to have, and this is actually going to be minus, you're going to have A over A plus B, minus, and that's C over C plus D. Um, so a trivial risk, you're going to have uh, three numbers once again, but you're going to have A over A plus B, and instead of dividing it, like relative risk, you're actually going to subtract it. It's going to be A over A plus B minus C over C plus D. And uh, the uh, letters correlate to the uh, pundit square, your um, two by two square, that we talked about in the other video. Um, number needed to treat, um, you're going to have a 1 over not attributable, attributable risk, but absolute risk reduction. And that number is normally given to you. Um, a number needed to harm, and that is, they do make you calculate that quite a bit, um, and that's 1 over attributable risk. So you've got 1 over A over A plus B minus C over C plus D. And that's basically it.